Hey y'all, this is Felicia, and today I am making bone broth. So, um, one of my favorite cuts of beef is the short rib, and when you have the short rib, you get these bones that look like this, and it, um, and I saved them, and as you can see, I have a bunch, um, and I just put them in a, in a bag in the freezer, and, um, and periodically, I will make some bone broth. So I took two quart bags out of the freezer. Well, one and a half quart bags of bones out in the freezer. There's some other. There may be a few chicken bones, some chicken wings in here, and um, maybe a couple of bones from, I think this is a T-bone or poorhouse bone from steak in there. But whatever bones I have, I throw them in the bags in the freezer. And periodically, I'll take them out to make bone broth. So, to make my bone broth, I use the slow cooker method. I put the bones in the slow cooker, and then I cover them with water. Today, I'm using um, filtered water. Um, I just use a, a water, Brita water filter. Um, so, I'm using filtered water. Um, and... Um, just cover them. Uh, I put as much, pretty much as much as um, the slow cooker will hold. I don't even know what size the slow cooker is, but this is my one of my bigger ones. Um, and then I add about a quarter, an eighth to a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. And that helps to extract the, the um, minerals from the bones. And um, there you go. it's just regular vinegar. You can use the organic one with the mother in it. That's just what happened to be on sale when I went to get vinegar the last time. And then I also add some salt to mine. Now this, I don't know if you're supposed to do it this way. This is the way I do it. So this is not a... Uh, how to this is a how I video. This is how I do it. I add some salt to it Not terribly much, but some and um, I'm using Himalayan pink salt um, I know the container says sea salt. It's not I buy the pink salt in bags I refill this container with that And um, Pink salt does have the minerals in it. So there's that and then all I do is cover it and um, turn it on low and let it cook for um, at least 12 hours. Um, I don't have a definitive length of time that it needs to cook to extract the good stuff out of the bones, but yeah, let me move y'all down a little bit so you can see but yeah um, I turn it on low and set a timer for about 12 hours and then I will check it um, if I feel like it's ready then I will turn it off if not I may let it cook for five, four or five more hours um, I'm going to have to do a little research and see you know what is the time to cook. I think you can cook these for 24 hours and come out with some really good bone broth. Um, but yeah, that's how I do it. And um, once it's done, I'll jar it up uh, and keep it in the refrigerator. This batch, will, I'm not sure how much this will make, so I'll come back with a video with the jars after this is done and show you all the results of this batch. So this is the bone broth, the final product. This has been refrigerated and is ready to use. Um, as you can see, um, the fat fat hardens on the top, so it's easily taken off. And the consistency, oh, it's solid. It, it's a gel consistency. And so it doesn't move in the jar because it's solid. Um, there you go. Thanks for watching the video. 
um, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And, but most of all, come back to see me. Bye now.